Hello and welcome to the Baron's Game Room. I'm Aaron as always, and... It's once again the spookiest season of the year, so this month I thought I would talk about the Stephen Rhodes trilogy of games. For those of you that may not know, Stephen Rhodes is actually an artist, and he does this art style reminiscent of like old children's books. If you've been in a Hot Topic or a Spencer's lately, you've probably seen some shirts with this stuff on it. He teamed up with Dynamite Games and Cryptozoic to bring us this little trilogy. Now, all these games were actually designed by a man named Ben Stoll, with all of the art being done by Stephen Rhodes. And today, I'm going to talk to you guys about the simplest, but definitely the easiest one for me to pitch to a new group to get to the table. Let's Dig for Treasure. Let's Dig for Treasure is a press-your-luck card-drawing game where you all play as a few kids digging up a graveyard. Now, it says 12 and up, but I think that might just be for the theme, because honestly, play-wise, you definitely don't need to be that old. The box says it's for two to five players, although I haven't actually run into a reason why you couldn't play it with more, and honestly, really, regardless of player count, I think the game's going to play at about the same speed every time, taking you about 30 minutes tops. Setup is crazy easy, just shuffle the cards, and then create three equal-ish stacks on the center of the table, and uh, you can put up your little tree for ambience and mood if you want. All you have to do on your turn is at least draw one card from one of the three stacks. Assuming the card you draw does not force you to immediately end your turn, you can choose to continue drawing from any of the stacks. Keep drawing until you either choose to end your turn, and if you choose to end your turn, you'll go ahead and take all the cards you've collected so far and just keep them in front of you for scoring at the end of the game. However, like I mentioned, you can be forced to end your turn by doing things like drawing two worm cards in the same turn or finding an evil skeleton. If something forces you to end your turn, you will end up discarding all cards you drew this turn into the discard pile, and you score no points. The game ends as soon as any one stack is completely empty, regardless of how many cards may be left in the other stacks. After that, all players add up their score, and whoever collected the most points wins. Simple, right? The honest truth of it is just a simple, easy game. If it looked fun to you, then you probably will enjoy it. There's not a lot to it. There are a lot of cards, a good variety throughout the game that keeps the game chaotic and always kind of at threat of anything going wrong at any time. So you never really feel safe. It was easily a favorite when I first got the set. Although now, after playing it so many times, I'm getting a little burned out. But that's just because I want to play the other games. But if you have a dark sense of humor and you want an easy game to get to the table and play quick, then yeah, I think I have to say that it's Baron Approved.